Hello everyone, welcome back. So I'm talking about the new moon eclipse in Taurus that's taking place on May 1st. This new moon is going to be at 10 degrees of Taurus. It's also conjuncting the planet Uranus. And um, it's a very interesting planet Uranus because it does deal with a lot of erratic energy. But I have a very interesting um, idea that this moon will not be as erratic as um, normal moons that are conjunct Uranus because the planet Saturn is in the constellation of Aquarius and Aquarius is ruled by Uranus. So there's a little bit more tempering um, happening, I feel, with this new moon. Um, There's more of an energy of trying to find ways that you can use your skills or um, different talents to um, plan a better future, to earn money for the future. Um, I'm just seeing a lot of future planning with this moon, even though Taurus is a very basic need comfort kind of energy. You know, so the fact that the planet Uranus is even transiting through Taurus is really um, is really amplifying the energy of using uh, how can you use your basic needs, your basic Taurian um, energies uh, to plan for a better future. This moon is definitely an opportunity for that. I also find it interesting uh, that as this new moon eclipse is happening in Taurus, the planet Pluto, which is uh, the ruler of Scorpio, is going to go retrograde. Scorpio is the partnership sign of Taurus, and it's going to be retrograding until October of this year. So as this new moon sets in for Taurus, this eclipse, this new new seed that's been planted, um, the planet that rules Scorpio is retrograding in reflection, in revision, in review. So I see a lot of people also looking at their relationships uh, to share resources to their partner, their intimate partner, who they're in a relationship with, um, who they're sharing their space, their time, their energy, their money um, with. I'm also seeing review in, and reflection on a lot of um, things also that are psychological from the past that are in relationships or relationship dynamics because um, Pluto is a very taboo energy. So going deep and kind of understanding things uh, as these months kind of um, work their way in until October. This is what I'm seeing. So even though this new moon eclipse is conjuncting Uranus, I do feel there is more of a stabilizing energy with it because of the energy of Saturn in Aquarius right now. Along with that, Venus, Jupiter, and Neptune will be all kissing each other in the sky with this new moon eclipse. So there is a great opportunity for forgiveness, I feel. Um, But there is an opportunity also to for a lot of things to be blown out of proportion. So you choose which way you want to... um. You want to deal with that energy um, with the new moon. And this new moon also comes along with a pre, uh, pre-shadow pre of Mercury retrograde happening in Gemini. I made a video for that. I'll put it up here if you want to know more about the Mercury retrograde and how that will um, take place for the next couple of weeks and months, actually for the next month and a half. And I hope you enjoy your eclipse. See you guys in the next video. Bye.